The impoundment of the firearms belonging to Gaj Global from a 25th container security agents came to the attention of the National Assembly, which later taxed the Assembly's Standing Committee on Defense and Security to investigate the matter and report back to the Assembly for further actions. Honorable Mumudu L.K. Sane, chairperson of the Standing Committee, presented the committee's methods of inquiry and foundings on the alleged importation of unauthorized firearms into the country. The committee adopted the method of gathering information to make its findings and draw its conclusions, which is relied on as the foundation to make concrete recommendations. The committee endeavored to take note of the following initiatives. A. Call witnesses. B, call for documents, and C, conduct site visit. Engagements with witnesses and findings. First, we engage with the uh, Inspector General of Police. In his deliberation before the Standing Committee on Defense and Security, the Inspector General of Police revealed that on the 8th of June, 2018, his office received an application for license to import hunting firearms from Mr. Alaji Silla, Managing Director Gaj Security Company Limited. He said upon receipt of the application, he assigned the police commissioner in charge of licensing, licensing to verify whether the terms and conditions of the issuance of a license to import firearms into the country have been met. He further informed the assembly of recommendations made by the standing committee on defense and security on the matter. The IGP indicated that the unauthorized consignment was impounded now for investigation. This was followed now by a tripartite consultation, tripartite, tripartite now consultation between now the office of the IGP, the chief of defense staff, and the director general of the National Intelligence Agency for a setting up, for the setting up now of a tripartite now investigative panel to partake in an investigation regarding the unauthorized consignment. Parliamentarians following the tabling of the report and recommendations by the Standing Committee chairperson took turns to react to the report. Is that the Arms and Ammunition Act of 2009 has been infringed and that is the recommendation given to the Inspector General of Police. Honorable Speaker, the evidence is that a case was prepared and a case file submitted to the Attorney General's Chambers for legal advice. So the committee has been very careful in meticulously checking a process. And the report helps you and guides you to see the process. It is for you to determine whether that process is credible or not. Very clear, and I want the public to know about it. Um, the investigation was done uh, on no base of biasness, we want to prop and find out the, the concern of the public, and we've done that. We realize that the importer is launching to bring guns, but he surpassed the number uh, on the end user certificate, and the member for Serakunda has explained what is end user and what is launching. The launching issue to the, to the importer is open, is blanket. The importer can bring any uh, amount of gun based that are specified as hunting guns. The Minister of Justice, however, deduced that Gage Security Company Limited, upon fulfilling all requirements and recommendations to import hunting firearms and ammunition, was issued Lansing with registration number 0026918 on the 28th day of September 2018 by the Inspector General of Police. To that effect, an end user certificate dated 13th December 2018 detailing the quantity and specification of the arms to be imported was made and signed by the company, certifying that the arms and ammunition described therein shall be for the purpose in line with stipulated regulations and shall not be used contrary to any law for the time being enforced in the Gambia. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Nafisato Kamara.